Yeah, what's up everybody, Brian with you from the Game Cabin, and we are playing some more Civ 6, continuing with our Portugal campaign. Playing as, okay, you guys convinced me, we're just gonna call him John from now on, alright? He was really grumpy there. <laughs> is he grumpy or is he judgy? I think it's a mix of, you know what, I'm better than you, I don't even know why you're wasting my time right now, mixed with, I also didn't really get that much sleep, so my eyes are a little sleepy. Anywho, oh, so... One major, major important development. People told me that if we get the twins, any ordinary land unit killed is resurrected under your control with full HP and movement. We can apparently use them to kill zombies and we get the freaking zombies. So forget everything we're doing. Forget, you know, trying to win the game. We want to control zombies, man. That's the only thing that matters right now. So these are 27 turns. You guys are up to 14. I have the money to just buy a monument. I'll let you finish what you're doing right now, but yeah, give me the twins. Literally, I've never actually gotten the twins, so hey, first for everything, first for everything. Uh, tribal village, yeah, 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 screw it, I'll send the warrior over there. If he gets there, he gets there. If he doesn't get there, he doesn't get there. I don't really care. So we're throwing farms down on both of these, which they should trigger with those. Although I think you need a tech to actually get it. I'm, I'm trying to remember. And then I guess let's go grab the horses, which sure. Um, you don't like me, so I'm going to go ahead and say no to this because I don't want to give you niter as the only one that doesn't like me. So we're still trying to figure out who the last Civ is, although we're going to hopefully wait till next era so we can save some points for that. Campus research game, probably not what we want here. How do we, what, why do we have two builders? Yeah, why do we, what? I, I, okay, apparently I was building a builder here or something. Oh, you know, maybe I moved a builder down here and then the other one just got finished building? I suppose I have no idea I have no idea now unfortunately there's not a lot for us to do we were gonna rip this up I think at one point weren't we well no because we already got the campus the harbor can go we should lock in these um some of these I wonder if I should grab a commercial hub I mean I probably should grab a commercial hub although I don't really want to grab a commercial hub uh, industrial zone down here would be really great because production's just hot trash uh, but there's really no good industrial zone either. We get an aqueduct. I don't think I care about that. Preserve eh, entertainment complex might not be bad. We already did our government plaza. So I suppose then let's lock in. We have two more districts, don't we? Yeah. So let's lock in the harbor. Put it here. I don't think it really matters. Um, Actually, yeah. Yeah, because we could have we could have worked it differently. That's okay. And then I think I'm going to rip that up. And I think I'm just going to put the industrial zone there. And it'll be okay. Eh, I probably should have put it in a different tile. But that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Whatever. It's plus one faith or, or sorry, gold or, you know, and one production at this point. Really shouldn't make much of a difference. Considering we're making 221 gold per turn. And it's, um, turn 128. Yeah. Yeah. And we really have not built that many harbors, <laughs> but we still have nine trade routes, which is just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Okay, so we're just going to immediately lock that one in, Mr. Industrial Zone, please and thank you. Boom. Uh, and actually, I think I'm going to start working on the Industrial Zone, because getting some extra production here is going to be useful, because this city sucks. Uh, let's get you promoted, please, for the eventual Zombers. Uh, then you are coming and grabbing that. Uh, I can go grab you there, and so then let's send you up here and get some of these lumber mills going for now. Cool. Now, we're trying not to... Yeah, Kahoki I don't care about. I don't want to meet the new Civ. Natural Wonder would give us error score, but it'd also give us gold, so it's kind of like, meh, sure. Sure, and we need this to flood here before we can do anything. So, Kahoki we're not going to do much with. Um... I need some trade routes, which unfortunately we pretty much have trade routes to everyone we can trade route with. So that's the only unfortunate thing. Dude, this there is another sieve, right? Yeah, I mean they gotta be down here. Yeah, they have to be down here. They can't have a lot of room either, so they're probably getting their butt kicked a little bit. Oh no, we need to buy up to this tile. What can we do? Oh wait, we could just buy it because we're freaking rich. Cause we're Portugal. Feels nice, man. Feels nice, man. 
Can I get some of this gold in real life, man? <laughs> trying to buy a house right now. God. Uh, anyways, medieval turn ends in three turns. I don't actually want the error score. That sucks, but whatever. Whatever. Not really much I can do about it. Give me enlightenment, though, because we want the extra science. Although, then again, that doesn't help us anymore because that new... It would help Panta. So it's only going to give me, like, what, two or three science then? Because they freaking nerfed the crap out of... Uh, out of rationalism. Hmm. I mean, we'll start it just because it's 13 turns and we don't want to finish another tech, but yeah, that, yeah, that sucks. Okay. Just trying to kind of, like, discover some of this without actually discovering the other player. You know, we could go this way because Sinbad is not that far off. Turn 8? I don't know that town. Turn 8. It is Indonesia. Okay. Okay, yeah, I don't remember that name. Plane is Indonesia. Which I'm probably butchering it, but you know, it's probably Ternate or something like that. Uh, I mean, an amber would not be bad. Do you have... Yeah, this is much better. Much, 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 much better. Uh, I think I'd rather have gold per turn. See if we can get at least one. Yes. Three? Nice. Five. No. Four? No. So I'll take three gold. So that's going to be, what, 90? Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. You want my 10 niter for 20 iron. I'm going to say no on that. Musket men are going to finish here. How many turns do we have left on this? Two turns. This is two turns, so I should switch this just temporarily. Yeah, give me machinery. That's fine. Uh, envoys, we have two. We're going to hold them because we don't want Caesar in this era. We'll save it for next. Uh, this doesn't actually matter because, you know, yeah. But the science actually does help here. And we have... Oh, we don't have the navigational school here. Well, I'm going to buy that just because we get the bonus science here. Which could argue maybe pink should go down there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, actually, that would be a really good argument here. Because Ping is making 15% from modifiers. Are really going to move Ping? Well, no, because the mausoleum gives you... It does give you science. Hmm. Hmm. We also might need to switch off the mausoleum for one turn. Let's go ahead and do it this turn. Otherwise, I'm probably going to forget uh, start a settler for one turn. I, I think once we finish the mausoleum, we're probably generating enough science here. I mean, that's only going to give us one extra science. I don't know. That's a good question. I, you know what? I, yeah, I'm going to move them. I'm going to move them. I changed my mind. I just like, what is the one thing we always do in this game is we always put ping in our capital at some point because our capital is always our best scientific city. It seems like, so it's just, it feels wrong <laughs> to not do that. What can I say? It's like, are, are you sure, Brian? Is this actually the right decision? And I'm like, I maybe? Hong Kong's in the game. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Unfortunately, they're also not on the water. Uh, Hong Kong is City Projects. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we're going to want to suzer them by the end of the game. So a nice little trade route here is going to be nice. Because then we should be able to go to Hong Kong. All right, one turn. Let's just, like, not move anyone this turn. Uh, go get lumber mills, sir. You can come over here. You're going to go grab that. Wait. That doesn't give you error score, right? Shouldn't. Yeah, I don't think it does. Yeah, it shouldn't give us error score. You just skip one turn because you still got ah, 12 more turns. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I don't know there's much money in the game for you anyways at this point. Um, Are there... Goody huts. Lots of amber over here, by the way. Yeah, there's one right here. I think there might be zombers there. Uh, what? Who? Where? Uh-huh. Seven turns. Okay. I was like, wait a second. We're building someone over here. The temple. All right. Well, there goes their diplomacy victory. No, no, no. I need to switch off you. Ah! No! Frick. When you say you're gonna switch for one turn and then forget to switch for one turn... Uh, all right, zombies spawning. Uh, okay, yeah, whatever. Uh, lots of people got Dark Ages except Mapuche and Saladin. That's fine. Game. What? 
What? Uh... Please. Thank you. Uh, having issues here, man. Having issues. So, you need to do a lumber mill, but you're going to get killed if you actually try building a lumber mill. So, we'll go put you in the fishies. Then... Put you here for the defensive strength. And I guess we're just going to let him suicide. What's he at right now? I could use you, by the way. Oh, he's at plus seven mutagen strength. Dang. Dang. Okay. That's fine. I know we're going to pop the twins out soon, but there's going to be plenty of opportunities for the twins to get some kills. So, yes. All right. Let us find... Welcome it's to Teddy! Rough ride at Teddy, too. Interesting. So, you're screwing the Mediterranean. So, we got two freaking North American civs. Oh, wait, no, Mapuche. Sorry, I was thinking Lotaro. Uh, no, sorry, not Lotaro. Cree. Anyways, two, I guess, American civs and then a bunch of Mediterranean civs. Way to go, Teddy. Just ruin the game. Just ruin the game. Okay, so yeah, you're still going over there. And yeah, we're totally fine then when it comes to. Singapore, interesting. Okay. A new envoys. God, I really just want Geneva, man. We have an extra trader out now. When's that Geneva one finish? Not Geneva. Um it's Taruga. When is this one finish? Taruga. I thought we had one to Taruga. Do we not have one going to Taruga? Did it get pillaged? No. Johannesburg, Kumasi. Zanzibar, Venice, Venice. Uruk, Uruk. I never sent one to Taruga. Maybe because... Was I going to Akkad? No. We weren't going to Hunza either, right? Johannesburg was to the east. Maybe I was expecting to send it that way with Kamasai? That wouldn't work, though. Huh. I'm actually thinking we should probably just keep our points, then. Yeah, let's do this. Let's grab Naval Tradition, then let's just grab Geneva. Because Geneva's going to help us more than any of the civs in the game right now. Uh, win, at least. Okay, keep exploring. I might just put you on auto explore at this point. Uh, I forgot to send him an envoy, didn't I? That's fine. That's fine. No, Hercules is gone. I don't really care. Uh, okay, so you suicided in. That's fine. I'll have you defend there. That's fine. Great admiral. I mean, it's era score, so yes. Free trader unit in the city. Trader out capacity plus one. Foreign trader outs to the city get plus two gold. Foreign trader outs to the city provide two gold to both cities. Dang it. Can I see trade routes to my cities? Braga is the only one that's being trade routed to. Me. Me. I'm just gonna, you know what? Nah, I'm just gonna use it in Lisbon. I don't care. I don't care. You can't stop me. So. Kabul does not have one, so we're going to go to Kabul. And apparently that was also his quest, so we instantly became suzerain of that. All right, really good decision, Brad. <laughs> that's exactly what I was planning. I mean, that's, yeah, totally, totally, totally. I noticed that right away. Uh, iron, we're not going to be able to get. Dude, we're having so many suzerains. It's great. You know, Porto del, um, del Gata is probably actually going to be a better city long term. To use him in. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Okay, let's see. Can we do this again? Uh, Geneva wants a trader up. No, just feudalism. Taruga, Preslev. There's no way we can get to Preslev. Can't go to Brussels, Johannesburg. I think we should go here because, like I said, I think that's going to take us to Hong Kong in the future, potentially. So, that's 36 gold, which is kind of freaking nice, man. So, we basically just made, like, another 50 gold per turn. Um, I'm gonna auto you. Yeah, because I don't really 
care about you anymore. And then, all right, change of blinds. You're going to go grab that. Oh, Beowulf disappeared. No, he was here to defend our settler, which is totally, uh, actually, maybe under threat now. Hey, I'm going to need you to protect me, please. Uh, Sinbad. We could go attack Baltimore here, but I, I don't see the advantage of that. So, yeah, Teddy, Dark Age. Teddy might be having some trouble here. Teddy might be. Does Arabia only have three towns? All right. Well, this game's going to be ridiculously easy, apparently. Um, yeah. All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> Not really, but, you know, sure. Uh, I will grab that because it's a fishing boat. Sure. And then go grab that. Teddy wants a bunch of stuff for open borders. And, yeah, nah. Nah. I don't want your iron, man. Can care less about your iron. So hopefully we can get the twins here fairly quickly. Mausoleum at Haral Canarsis. Love it. Thank you. Appreciate it. And so hopefully with these wonders now, new city-state. Kaguna. Remind me. Your builder's bate. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Dude, so many city states, which obviously, because of the map we're playing on. Uh, sorry, because of the map mode we're playing on. I don't know what we want the now. I mean, because remember, we got our unique building and our unique unit. And I'm kind of feeling pretty confident right now. I should probably get it researched, though. Probably just in case. But yeah, we're feeling really good, I think, about this next era. Just because we got another one of this, and we should have multiple suzerains. I'm, I'm feeling pretty dang good right now. Uh, give me the Great Lighthouse for sure. I don't think we can build... Uh, we could build it right there. Well, let, let, hold up. What was the turn timer on this? Great Lighthouse is 13 turns. Great Lighthouse here is 14 turns, plus another three. Yeah, we'll just build it here. It's fine. I mean, I know these are sexy tiles, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Give me the Great Lighthouse. And give me a trade route because we are just going to make ridiculous amounts of money, and I love it. Don't have enough money to buy the navigation school as of yet. Probably go knock a harbor out here. And we can't lock in any other buildings. Braga, we can lock in another one here. Uh, probably going to be a harbor here. Just going to throw that out there. If I was a harbor. I have one already. Oh, I'm building it. <laughs> I was like, where is the harbor? Why can't I not find it? It's a plus two right there. Gonna have to rip that up. Because this next two... Yeah, let's go chop you up. We'll put it there, and then we'll go work on that. Then... We definitely are going to want one here. You're going to need to rip up the food. This improvement removed. Placing the district will remove the marsh. Honestly, I think I kind of like the marsh. I think I'm just going to take the plus one and be done with it. Yeah, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. There's no chopping. So, I just bought you. I'm trying to see. I guess let's go build a mine there then. Get a little bit more production, Lisbon. So, was it Liang I was told is really good? Fishery improvements. Yeah, Liang is interesting because she does have the, you know, the agricultural, aquaculture. The only issue is like, I don't know. She's not my favorite one, nor is she particularly great for the um, wind type we're going for. So it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to get these settlers going, but we're still working on wonders, Brian. <laughs> what are we even doing with our policies? What were we doing yesterday? Uh, whatever. Uh, definitely want Weizenbach, because that's just ridiculously good for us. And we want reform the coinage. Guys, this is about to get psychotic. 244, 292. It's actually not as psychotic as I thought it would be. Probably because we're trading with a lot of city states as opposed to um players. Yeah. So we need a turn to lock in the industrial zone. So let's just go ahead and work on the lighthouse and we'll probably end up chopping it out. Three envoys gives us Geneva and a suzerain. Yo, 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 yo. And now 157 science, which um puts us in first place at turn 135.
<laughs> okay. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. So I kind of want one with uh, production. Only 28 gold, though. It's kind of disappointing here. Johannesburg. Oof. 28 gold to Yerevan. Aye. Yerevan was not really feasible for us, right? He, yeah, eight. And it's feasible, but eh. Eh. And the candy, I don't remember where candy is. And the cod isn't listed either. Taruga was too high. Although Taruga would give us Geneva. Mm -hmm. I kind of just really want to go to Dementia. Not a lot of, not as much money, but that's some nice production. And I mean, we could really, I don't say we really could use it, but we really like the idea of getting that production going. And do we just go Cairo here as well? Huh. Oh, it's because we don't have alliances with people. That's what the difference is, because he still doesn't have alliances. We wanted a military with you. Um, take some of my horses. Whatever. You can have the extra horse. That's fine. I want Samaria. You're going to be the research. Teddy likes us. Teddy doesn't want to be our friends. You, I still want the cultural. You still want me to pay you for the cultural one. So congratulations. You can have some of my niter. Really? Never mind, she doesn't want that. Alright, so then we got an updated trader out here. Because we are now allies with Mapuche, who isn't on the list. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm going to go to Ponta. And I'm going to send you... Get the production going with you. Production trader outs. Teddy, we could get an open borders with, but I'm not Russian. And it looks like we have pretty much discovered everything now with Sinbad. So, GG. All right, good, 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 good. New continent, Ivoria. This is gonna be a fun town to defend here. Um, ancient walls, probably not a great idea. Yeah, we, we kinda need, yeah, 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 that sucks. All right, well, we're gonna wait a turn and then we're gonna go ahead and buy a builder here. <laughs> We'll get Aeroscore for building on here, too. Uh, wait a second. Who do we just build the granary with? Did... How... How did the granary instantly finish? Okay, I mean, I'm not going to complain too much, but I don't quite know what happened there. Huh. Yeah, that's, that's weird. Because it instantly finished the granary. That one's a little confusing to me. So we need to get some better units, just FYI, because this is going to be a problem here. I need 20 iron. I can probably trade for 20 iron. And then I think we probably want to upgrade him just so that the zombie doesn't do that much damage here. Probably is what we want. Probably. Uh, extra trade routes. Oh my god, we still have two more freaking trade routes right now. What the actual heck? Oh, okay, never mind. We have them. We just need to actually send them. So yeah, I wanted the production there. And... Twenty-five gold, thirty-six gold. You do give us a little bit of production, though. Yervin's thirty gold, thirty-four gold here. Uh, Parku sees a squirrel. I'm thinking. Parker, leave the squirrel out alone. He's fine. He's fine, Parku. Yeah, these just don't give the money to make it worth it. I think I'm just gonna go quiche because I still really want a little bit of extra production. And yo, buddy, can you get the ally like alliances going? Because, yeah, I mean, that's something I would love to have. Um, you need to get Ancestral Hall. And we need to start building some settlers. For sure. So, uh, I need 20 iron. You have 16. Find someone with 20 iron. You have 17. 
I don't really want to trade with multiple people. Did I just look at you? You had 12. 55. Okay. So give me 20, please. Actually, I think... Yeah, it's like he'll take because he's under 40. Yeah, there we go. So then with that, we should have enough here to upgrade you, which then bumps the garrison defense strength to um, 38 in all of our cities. So, yeah, you're now 38 against the zombie. The zombie's going to take significantly more damage. We should be totally fine. Uh, you're going to rip this up, please, and then go fix this. And then we're going to go lock in an industrial zone right there. Thank you. I hate getting rid of our one good tile for that, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, probably isn't worth it that way, but oh well. It's too late, man. Another goodie head. Okay, I'm just going to put you on auto, Sinbad. Until you die. Not going to get any error score for him dying the second time, but that's okay. Where are we looking, error score? 141. We're 30 short. I Feeling pretty good about that already. Point. Especially since we're about to lock in a new government. Do we want to get monarchy? Plus one housing. Plus two diplomatic favor. For every renaissance wall, 50 influence points. I mean, the influence points are nice. Also, we gain more... um. Influence points per turn and diplomatic favor per turn. Classical Republic is giving us housing and amenities. I think so. I don't really want the double military policy, but whatever. Unit upgrades would have been nice last turn, but that's okay. Probably give me the amenities right now. We want the campus adjacency bonus. And now we don't have the boost on the wonders because we're short one. But I, I, I think this is fine. This is fine. Because we're, we're really good on production. And um, Greater Lighthouse is probably not a wonder other people are competing with right now. So uh, there's Theocracy, which is not bad because it gives us, you know, uh, two, and it's still two military. But what we're looking for is... Merchant Republic, which I mean, we're Portugal. So, yeah, we definitely want the Merchant Republic because literally that's Portugal. <laughs> definitely the definition of what we are. OK, multiple zombies spawning over here. Not all who I think we're fine. Is not I think we're still fine here. Probably. We're hoping Merchant Republic's going to run right there. Yeah, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Did you seriously just block me? freaking punk man uh then military i guess let's go gunpowder because we could also then grab musket men which would then put our walls at 55 oh we are totally fine oh my god it's happening boys it's happening ah, sorry i'm really excited really excited uh harbor yes and then industrial zone Shouldn't that be plus two because it's by strategic resource? I thought strategic was plus two. I thought that's why this one was plus two. It's by eight. Oh, two lumber mills. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, whatever. I'll just throw it there. It's not a hill or anything. And we'll lock it in. Uh, let's get the industrial zone first here. Because the production boost will help us build the harbor quicker. So then over here. Still don't have alliances. My gosh, dude. Can I just, like, gift him with tech? Uh, what game is that you can do that? And I love it. Wasn't that um Galactic? It's the space game where you can, like, trade it. What is it? Galactic Empires or something like that? Good game. Good game. It's been a while. I need to go play that game again. I don't know if there's been any updates. I'm sure there has been. But, all right, let's do one more turn. Delegation's most welcome. And then we will see where we are at. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Man is a military animal. Glories in gunpowder. And I'm so mad. So because he arrived in the city, the garrison defense strength bumped up to 64, which unfortunately means that they disappeared. Great. All right, we'll come over here and kill this zombie then. <laughs> the only reason I did one extra turn was to get my own freaking zombie. Freaking punk. Uh, what is this? Reinforced barricade. Oh, okay. Uh, let's 
got military tactics. At this point, we're just trying to get as many techs as possible still, because I'm hoping to avoid a dark age, which I'm not really that worried about, but, you know, yeah, it's a thing. I should definitely have these fishies, because that's just sexy tiles, man. Because we do have the fishing boat. Thank you. Guilds boosted. All right, and I guess we're done with the uh, episode. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, show your support. Next episode, we're just going to keep banking the money, man. L literally, that's all we're trying to do right now is just make as much money as possible. I like it. Uh, we can't upgrade you, then. What do we want? You know what? <sighs> Frick, am I going to put Lang in our capital, man? I mean, zoning commission would help with our spaceport. Ping might need to go in our northeastern city eventually. Canal or dam district? Hmm. Yeah, we are going to build. Okay. All right. You convinced me. You convinced me. There you go, Lang. So we want to build all our builders in uh, our capital from here on out. But anyways, till tomorrow. Bye, everyone.